Hi there, my name is Sandy. I am a 300 hour yoga teacher trainee. Today I am going to teach for the very first time a Rocket One modified yoga sequence. So today you will need two blocks and a yoga mat. Um, if you don't have blocks, then maybe you can find stacks of books that you can have nearby, maybe even a chair or a wall. Let's get started. Okay, come to the tops of your mats. And if you have your yoga blocks there, just kick them out of the way. We're going to start with three sun salutations A and three sun salutations B. So I will demo them and walk you through them together. All right, at the top of your mat, ground through your feet, relax through the shoulders, relax through the jaw, Gaze is forward. Just taking a couple of moments to take some deep breaths in and out. Let's take a couple more deep breaths. And during this time, maybe set an intention for class today. Let's take one more deep breath in and out. Let's get started with Sun A. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold. You can have a slight bend in your knees here if you need to, or you can use your blocks. Inhale, halfway lift, gaze is forward. Exhale, chaturanga. So you can go down onto your knees or you can be in the halfway push-up. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. So we will stay here for three breaths. Inhale. And exhale. One. Inhale, gaze at your navel. Exhale, ground through the hands. Inhale. Exhale, I know I said three breaths, but let's hold here for two more breaths. Inhale. Big exhale, that's four. Last one, inhale. Exhale, bend your knees, look at your hands, step or jump to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, let's come up, arms reach. And Big exhale, hands at heart center. Let's do that again, two more times. Sun A, inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold here for five breaths, inhale. And exhale, one, inhale, exhale, two, inhale. You can pedal the feet right and left if you need to. Exhale, three, inhale, exhale, four, last one, inhale. Big exhale, let it go. Bend your knees, look at your hands. Step or jump to the front. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift all the way up. Arms reach, gaze is up. Exhale, hands at heart center. We're gonna do one more, sun A, here we go. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Gaze is forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold here for five breaths. Inhale. And exhale. One. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Inhale, keep pressing through the hands. Exhale, 
four. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. Bend your knees. Look at your hands. Come to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms reach up. Gaze is up. Exhale, hands at heart center. Amazing job. Okay, we're moving on to sun salutations B. Inhale, arms reach up. Come to your chair pose. And exhale, forward fold. Again, you can have a slight bend in your knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, warrior one, step forward with your right leg. Arms reach up. And exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Other side. Inhale, warrior one, left leg forward. Arms reach up. Exhale, chaturanga down. Again, you can go down to your knees if needed. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay here for five breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Inhale, navel to spine. Exhale, gaze at your spine. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Big exhale, bend your knees, look forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Arms reach up, or they can be at the heart center. Exhale, come to standing. We're gonna do that two more times. Inhale, chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, gazes forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, warrior one, right leg forward. Drop the left heel back, reach up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, warrior one, left leg forward. Reaching up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upper facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Hold here for five breaths. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. That's one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Last one, inhale. Exhale, five, bend your knees, look forward. Come to the top of your, your mats, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, inhale, come to chair. Exhale, straighten your legs, hands come to your heart. Last, sun B, here we go. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, warrior one, right leg forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, warrior one, left leg forward. Right leg spins back. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold here for five breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One. Inhale. Exhale. Two. 
Inhale, keep spinning your biceps forward. Exhale, heels drop. Inhale, exhale, four. Inhale, and exhale, bend your knees, look ahead, step or jump to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come to chair. Sit down into it and exhale, hands at heart center. And let's take a couple of deep breaths here, in and out. You can gaze softly ahead, maybe close your eyes. Let's regulate our breath. Let's take two more breaths here. Last one. Excellent, drop your hands, palms forward, mountain pose. Okay, we're gonna move on to standing series. You can place your hands at your hips. Let's bring your left leg back, coming to a crescent ledge. So take a look at your feet. If it feels uncomfortable to be in this stance, you can try widening your stance. So you're more on a railroad track versus a balance beam. If it still feels uncomfortable, maybe shorten your stance. So right leg is forward. Take a look down. Make sure your knee is tracking between the first and second toes. When you feel comfortable here, you can keep your hands here or raise them up. Crescent lunge. We're here for five breaths. Keep tracking your right hip back a little bit as your left hip comes forward a little. So let the hips move with you. Take a deep breath in. On your exhale, transition to your warrior two. Make any adjustments you need. You can be heel to inner arch or heel to heel. That front knee is still tracking over the first two toes. Take a look at your back arm. Make sure it's not drooping or flying away. Keep the energy throughout the strong arms here. We're here for about two more breaths. Inhale, straighten your front leg. Exhale, triangle pose. Reach ahead, keep reaching. Now. Place your hand either on your shin or on a block. Right hand comes on a block. Left hand reaches up. As for your gaze, depends on how your neck's feeling. You can look down at the floor, straight ahead, or up at your hand. We're here for about four more breaths. Keep your legs active by Activating the quads. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your left hand down to meet your shin or block. Stay here for just a second. Bring your left foot in about a step or two. And let's adjust our spine. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, you can stay here or come to revolve triangle. Right hand will reach for the sky. Revolve triangle. We're here for five breaths. Check in with your hips. Keep tracking that right hip back. Keep grounding through your feet. Activate your core by bringing your navel to your spine. Energy all the way through to your fingertips. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your right hand down to the meet the block. We're going to come out the way we came in. Let's open up back into that triangle. And come all the way up. 
Excellent. Adjust your feet. We're going to come back to warrior two. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, side angle pose. Drop your, bring your right forearm to your right thigh. Bring your left arm overhead. If this is uncomfortable for you, you are free to bring that left hand to your hip or maybe a half bind here. Let's hold for three more breaths. Keep grounding through your feet and keep your legs active. Make sure that front knee is still tracking over the first and second toes. Inhale to release, back to warrior two. Exhale, crescent lunge. So we're bringing our torso and hips back to the front of our mats. Make any adjustments you need to again with your feet. We're gonna go into a revolved side angle. Bring your hands to your hearts. Take a deep breath in, slight lift of the chest. Inhale, on your exhale, twist. Revolved side angle. So you have some choices here. You can remain up like this. You can bring your left knee down and hold it here. So choose what feels good to you. If this still doesn't feel good, you can go back to your crescent lunge. Let's hold for three more breaths. Last one, inhale. On your exhale, we're going to release the pose. Coming back to your crescent. Bring your arms up, inhale. Exhale, hands to the yoga mat. Find your plank. Turn this into a chaturanga, or you can bring your knees down. Inhale, upper facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Excellent. Let's come down to our knees. So we just did a lot of work on our right side. So in rocket yoga, they break this up by adding in an arm balance. Yes, an arm balance already. So we have some choices here. We can do either a pincha mayurasana if you're ready. Feel free to take your mat against the wall to take your pincha, or we can do dolphin, which I will be doing. Dolphin pose. We're going. Let's bring our forearms to the mat. Spread your fingers wide. You have a choice here. You can use your block. You can even do this with pincha mayurasana. You can use your block. Place your fingers and frame the block. Let's bring your navel to your spine. Deep breath in. Exhale, come to dolphin pose or your pincha mayurasana. We'll hold here for five breaths. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. If you're in pincha and you fall down, you can kick right back up or you can mix it up. You can do a couple of pinchas and come back to a dolphin pose. If you're in dolphin, you can play around, walk your feet up a little, and then walk them back. You can even try kicking one leg up and switching. Last breath, inhale, exhale. Bring your knees back down. And let's move the block. Come back to your downward facing dog. Now let's take a step forward with our left leg, coming to crescent. Walk your hands up, adjusting our stance. You can take it wider or you can shorten it if you need to. 
and when you feel supported, arms can come up or you can keep them at your heart center. We're holding here for five breaths. And take a peek down at your front knee. Make sure it's still tracking between the first two toes. Navel to spine. Two more breaths. And last one. Inhale. On your exhale, warrior two. Make any adjustments you need with your legs. Take a peek at your back arm. Keep your arms nice and strong by activating the back of your arms. And take a look at your front knee. If you feel it tracking in, try moving it out. Again, the first two toes, that's our goal. We have two more breaths here. Last one. Straighten your front leg, inhale. Exhale, triangle pose. Reach forward, then place your left hand on your shin, right arm up. If you have a block nearby, go ahead and grab it. Place it behind your foot. This helps bring the ground closer to you. So we're in each of these poses for five breaths. If you need to take more time in a pose, please feel free. Again, your gaze can be ahead, at the floor, or up at your hand, whatever feels good for your neck today. One more deep breath in. Good, exhale, bring your right hand down to meet your hands either at your shin or on the block. Walk your right leg back in maybe one or two steps. Adjust your hips. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, revolved triangle. Raise your left hand up towards the ceiling as your torso twists towards the back wall. Navel to spine to protect your back. Steady breaths in and out. Grounding through the feet, activate the legs by lifting the knees up. This is a very active pose. Last breath in. On your exhale, bring your left arm down, coming back the way we came in, back to, to the triangle. As you exhale, take a deep breath in. Let's come back up and exhale, warrior two. Make any adjustments you need. For me, that means bringing my back leg out just a tad. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, side angle pose. Bring your left forearm to your left thigh. Right arm reaches overhead. Option to stay here or bring your right arm down and behind for a half bind. If you have the full bind, please go for it. We'll stay here for about three more breaths. Keeping the legs active by pressing through the ground, pressing through the feet. Inhale. Exhale, release the bind. Back to warrior two. And let's adjust back to crescent lunge. Hands at the heart. Inhale. Exhale, revolved triangle. Twist at the waist. Bring your right elbow to the outside of the left leg. Stay here, press through the hands. Option to stay here, or you can bring your right knee down to the floor. Inhale. 
Inhale to release the pose. Exhale, hands to the floor. Plank pose. Chaturanga down. You can bring your knees down if you like. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five breaths here. Notice how you feel between the right side and the left side now. Three more breaths. Ground through the hands, all knuckles glued to the floor. Last breath in, last breath out. Bring your knees to the floor. We're back to the arm balance or dolphin pose. You can grab your blocks if you use them the first time or you can choose not to use them this time. You can bring your mat to the wall if you'd like for pincha or you can join me in dolphin. If you're using the block, again, frame your thumb and index fingers along the block. Forearms onto the ground, fingers nice and wide, navel to spine, come to dolphin or your pincha. We're going to spend five breaths here. If you're in pincha or dolphin, really ground through your hands and your forearms. Gaze right in front of you. Navel to spine, protecting the back and the core. Again, you can walk your feet in, give yourself more of a challenge. Walk your feet out. I can really feel my shoulders working when I do this. Two more breaths. Last breath. Knees down. Grab your mats, come back if you are against the wall. Downward facing dog. Take a look at the front of your mats, bend your knees, jump or step to the front. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bring the arms up, reverse wine dive. Exhale, hands to your heart. Let's take three breaths here. Taking this time to express gratitude for our bodies, for our breath. everything it can do for us. Last inhale. And exhale. Bring your hands to your sides, palms forward. All right, let's move on to our folding, our forward fold series. We're going to begin in gorilla pose. Hands at the waist. Find yourself in a forward fold for gorilla. Get your two fingers ready, index and middle, wrap them around your big toes. If you have trouble wrapping because you're a little tight in your hamstrings, try bending your knees. And if you don't like bending your knees, you can always grab your blocks and stay here, okay? So gorilla pose. Bring your elbows out to the side. Folding at the waist. Holding on to the big toes, that helps you increase the stretch. One more deep breath here. And exhale, good. Moving on to Gorilla Pose B. Take your hands, unwrap the toes, place them under the foot. So we're stepping on our hands. We'll relax here into the pose. Five breaths. okay to bend the knees here. Again, you can have the blocks nearby. Place your hands on the blocks. Last breath. Release the hands. 
hands at the waist. Inhale to rise. Exhale, take your right foot back or any way you need to adjust to face me. Wide-legged forward folds. We're gonna start standing, hands at the waist, navel to spine, inhale, exhale, fold forward, place your hands on the block or onto the floor. So we're gonna do this series four different ways. This is A. Inhale to rise. I like to place my hands on my waist when I come up, regardless of what part of the series we're doing. It just helps me to, re helps to remind me to come up with a lengthened spine. B. Right leg forward for B. We're going to keep our hands on our waist the entire time. Inhale, slight lift of the chest. Exhale, fold forward. And check in with how your hamstrings are feeling here. If you need to bend the knees, if you need to widen the stance, please feel free. We want to avoid locking the knees. So micro bend in the knees is always good. Two more breaths. Inhale to rise. And exhale. Y leg forward fold C. We are going to lace our hands behind us. So they will look like this, but behind us. If this does not feel comfortable for you, maybe you can try grabbing the elbows. If you're feeling very open between the shoulders and chest, you can try prayer hands. Otherwise, join me with our hands bound together. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, forward fold. Three more breaths. Keeping the legs active. Activate the front of the legs. Weight is more in the heels versus the balls of the feet. Inhale to rise. Exhale, release. Y leg forward fold, D. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, forward fold. Bring your hands to the floor. Options here, keep them on the floor or you can walk your hands behind you to increase the stretch. If you have tripod headstand in your practice already, you may take that here. Let's hold for three more breaths. If your head is touching the floor, try not to put a lot of pressure on it. It's just contact to the floor. That's it. No pressure. If you are in headstand, release the pose. If you are in the wide-legged fold, let's walk our hands back to center. Hands are on our waist. Inhale to rise. And exhale. Let's come back to the floor for middle splits. So yes, rocket yoga, if you've never done it before, you may notice that it looks similar to Ashtanga primary series. So that's what it was modeled after. If you do not have middle splits or you are uncomfortable here, come to frog pose. Knees on the floor, bend your knees 90 degrees, you can place your elbows on the floor. We'll be here for one more breath. And gently come out of your splits. We'll meet in a forward fold, right split. Adjust your hips and your legs so your 
facing the right side. Bring your left leg to the floor. Let's do a little prep before we go into the splits. Bring your weight forward. Take a peek at that knee. Make sure your knee is stacked right over that ankle. Stretching out that hip flexor. And shift your weight back. So we're stretching out the hamstring, the right hamstring. Toes are pointed towards the ceiling, flexed towards the ceiling, rather. Right hip is tracking back. Let's do that one more time. Low lunge. And half split. Now you have the option to stay in your half split here or come to your right split. You can use blocks. My blocks are all the way back here. Go ahead and hold that split or grab your blocks. Three more breaths. Last two. Last one. Gracefully, carefully release the pose. Some people just like to roll out to the side. I like to bring everything in. And let's meet back into our wide leg forward fold. Now let's shift everything, shift our bodies to the left side. Bring your left knee to the floor, right knee to the floor, excuse me. Left knee is stacked right over your left ankle for a low lunge. Remember to bring your blocks with you. Left hip moves back a tad. So we feel that stretch in the right hip flexor. Maybe the right quad. Sit back for a half split. We're flexing our foot. Stretching out the back of the legs. One more. Low lunge. Half split. Stay here or come to left split. Three more breaths. And carefully release the pose. Let's meet on the floor for seated straddle folds. Just grab your blocks, make sure they're nearby. And I'm gonna move my mat back so you can see me. Okay, wide leg forward fold, seated. You can come into this two ways. You can walk your hands forward, or you can join me in inhaling, raising the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Hold here. Deep breaths in and out. Reflexing the feet. Relaxing the space between our shoulders, relaxing the jaw. If you feel your back is really rounded in here, you can make adjustments to have a more extended spine. And that helps protect the back. Inhale, either walk your hands back up or raise the arms to the sky and exhale down. Side bends. Take your left arm, left hand, tuck it under your right leg, inhale. Bring your right arm up, exhale, side bend. And we'll hold here for three more breaths. Giving space to our right rib cage.
Inhale to rise. Exhale, arm releases down. Right hand under left leg. Inhale, lift the left arm. Exhale, side stretch. Let's hold here for two more. Deep breaths in and out. Feet are flexed. Legs are active. Last breath in. Rise, exhale, release the hand. Okay, Mula Banda checks. Grab your blocks or you can use the floor. Activate your Mula Banda by bringing the energy up and in, navel to spine. Relax the shoulders here, take a deep breath in. Exhale, fold over your leg. Inhale, on your exhale, press yourself up. If you can bring both legs up, that's the goal for this pose. Two more breaths. And lower down. <laughs> Other side. Switch your blocks. If you don't want to use the blocks, feel free to not use them. Mula Banda checks. Activate Mula Banda. We're bringing the pelvic floor in and up. Inhale. Exhale, fold over the leg. Deep breath in. Exhale, push yourself up. Hold here for five breaths. Getting stronger with each pose. I forgot to use my box on this one. <laughs> Last breath in. Exhale down. All right. Bring your knees in. Come to the tops of your mat. Find your malasana pose. We'll stay here for a few breaths. If this is a little uncomfortable for you, you can use a block and sit on your block here for support. Let's do two more breaths. Last one. Okay, option to stay in Malasana. Or you can come into an arm balance, Bakasana. If you're going to join me in Bakasana, place your hands on the mat. Fingers are wide. Blue all knuckles to the floor. Squeeze your thighs into your elbows. Shift your weight forward. Activate Mula Bandha. And lift one foot. Lift the other foot. Or you can just go back and forth lifting. Keep holding if you can. If you've had enough, come back to Malasana. Last breath in. Exhale, good. Place your hands on the floor. Find your plank. Lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And walk or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Gaze is forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale. Lift your arms all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Pyramid pose. Take a step back with your left leg. as if you're gonna come into your warrior one. And then take a step back, take a step in towards the front of your mat. Options to keep your hands at your waist or you can bind them behind your back. Take a breath in as you extend the spine. Exhale, pyramid pose. 
If you find it hard to balance here, you can heel toe your feet out a bit. So you're back on that railroad track instead of a balance beam. So make any adjustments you need. Two more breaths. Inhale to rise. Exhale, switch your stance to the back of the mat. Pyramid pose, left leg forward. Again, any adjustments you need to make. Inhale, extend the spine up. Exhale, pyramid pose. Folding over the leg. Grounding through both feet. And that helps activate the legs here. Lift the knees using the front thigh muscles. Two more breaths. Inhale to rise. Exhale, transition back to the front of your mat. So I'm gonna adjust my mat so you can see me, or I'll, I'll just face you guys. Standing big toe pose. So you can move your computer <laughs> so you're at the front of the mat or you can adjust your mat. Shift your weight into your left leg. Place your left hand on your left hip. Grab your big toe with your peace fingers. So you can stay here or you can straighten the leg forward. Micro bend or big, bigger bend in your left leg. Move the leg out to the side. Find your drishti by finding one focal point to look at. Hopefully it's something that's not moving. Leg comes back to the front. Keep breathing here. And fold forward over the leg. You can grab your hand with both hands if you need to. And you don't have to bend at all. That's just an option. Release the leg, but keep your leg up. So if it's hard to keep the leg straight, you can bend here. And release it down. Yeah, you can pound out that leg if you need to. I'll shake it out. <laughs> Other side, shift your weight into your right leg. Right hand at the left, whoa, right hand at your right waist. Okay, take a deep breath in. Grab your left big toe with your two peace fingers and straighten the leg. Again, finding that drishti point. Move the leg out to the side. Back to the front. And remember that option to bend over your leg. You can do that here or you can stay here where I am because last time was a disaster. <laughs> and if you're bent over, fold it over your leg, come back up. Let's release the toes. Keep the legs straight or you can bend, but we're just lifting that leg up for final couple of seconds. And release it down. Pound it out. Excellent. Tops of your mat. Inhale. Arms reach up. Exhale, downward facing dog. I'm sorry, fold it forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold here for a few breaths. While we're here, you can make any adjustments you need to. If you want to pedal out your feet, if you want to go to child's pose, please feel free. Bend your knees. 
as you come to the tiptoes of your feet, look at your hands and jump to a seat if you are able to, or you can come seated. Staff pose. Dandasana. Our legs are straight, sitting on our sits bones. Shoulders are in line with our hips and our ears. Place your hands onto the floor, energy through the hands, feet are flexed. So this is the staff pose. Keep breathing in and out. Moving on to forward fold, inhale, arms reach up, exhale. Keep your spine extended and fold forward. So for your hands, you can wrap the big toes like we've been doing throughout class. You can place them on your shins. You can have a bend in your knees. You can place them on the floor or you can wrap them around your feet. Three more breaths. the feet active by flexing them. Last breath in and exhale. Reverse tabletop. Place your feet on your floor, hands or by your hips. Inhale, exhale, raise your hips off of the floor. Reverse tabletop. You can look up at the ceiling Maybe even slightly forward to protect the neck. Activate your glutes by squeezing them, lifting the hips up. Last one, good. Lower the hips down. Come to Navasana. Option to keep your feet on the floor. Bring your feet off of the floor or straight legs. Hold here for four more breaths. Excellent. Vinyasa option. If you don't want a vinyasa, meet me back in downward facing dog. Come to the tippy toes, bend your knees, and jump to a seat, or gently glide to a seat. Grab a block if you would like, keep them near you. Runners, pose. Bend your left knee in. I shall start with my right leg so you can see what I'm doing. Bend your right knee in, almost like a half hero's pose. I like to use a block. So it gives me some ease in my knee. Flex the left leg. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, fold over. If this just does not work for you with your knee this way, you can bring your really sit knee in this way, okay? And we're gonna play here by releasing the knee here. Bend your left knee in. Take your arms, bring them into chaturanga arms. So your left knee is in that nook of your left triceps. Place your hands on the floor. You can bring your right leg up. And we're just pretending we're going into a one leg pigeon. If you have it, please feel free to do it. But for some of us, we're working on it. And this is just a way to get a feeling of how to go into it. Good, release that pose back down. Vinyasa, option. If you prefer not to meet us in downward facing dog. Come to the tippy toes, bend your knees. 
and come to a seat. Other side, bend your left knee in, or if you did not like that, bring your right leg into this position like a figure four. Again, I like to use the block here for a runner's pose. Inhale, arms reach up, exhale, fold forward. Three more breaths. Last breath in and exhale. All right, here we go. We're playing, coming to that one leg pigeon, hands on the floor. Bring your right knee onto the tricep. If you have the one leg pigeon, please feel free. Different ways you can play, just lifting the leg up, maybe lifting the right leg up. And once you're done playing with that, vinyasa. Come to the tippy toes, bend your knees, and find a seat. Janushar Shasana. I'll face you guys. Making that figure four with your left knee in, right leg is straight and flexed. Inhale. Exhale, fold over. Inhale to rise. Exhale, release. Switching sides, switch sides. Right knee in, inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, fold forward over the left knee. Left foot is still active. Deep breaths in and out. Inhale to rise. Exhale, release the hands. Vinyasa option. If you'd rather not vinyasa, Come to tower facing dog or child's pose. Tippy toes, bend your knees, and seat. Maryachasana A, still working on these scan Sanskrit words. Bend your right knee in, left leg is forward. Take your right arm across the left leg. Take your left arm up. Place it behind. This is one option to stay here. If you have the bind, you're gonna grab your hands together here. And we're holding the pose. This is Mariachasana, Mariachasana A. And release the pose gently. Take the left arm up. Inhale, exhale. Twist over to your right side for a spinal twist. Mariachasana C. Let's hold for two more breaths. Inhale and exhale. Little counter twist. Excellent. Straighten the right leg, bend the left leg. Find your balance here. Take your left arm up and across. Right arm behind the back. Stay here or you can take the bind. Left arm reaches across the knee, finds the right hand. Hold here for five breaths. Let's 
or at least suppose. Inhale, lift the right arm up. Exhale, twist to the left. Keeping the spine long. Keep the spine long. Twist from the waist. Two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale, release the pose, counter twist. Okay, back to center. Vinyasa, option. Upper facing dog, downward facing dog. Rise onto your tippy toes, bend your knees, and come to a seat. I'm gonna face forward so you can see me. Baddha Konasana, butterfly pose. Bring your feet together. Knees are out to the side. Holding on to your ankles. Deep breath in. Extend the spine, lifting the chest. Exhale, fold over. Three more breaths. Last two. And one. Take that last exhale. Inhale to rise. Vinyasa. Of course, the vinyasa again is always an option. And let's come to your seat for Supta Baddha Konasana. Reclined bound angle pose. So we're doing the pose we just did onto the floor. Soles of the feet together, knees fall out to the side. Options here for your hands. They can come into cactus, out to the side, or you can place your right hand on your heart, left hand on the belly, or you can switch it up. It's really up to you. Whatever feels good here. If this pose does not feel good to you, though, you can bring your knees in and walk your feet out. Same options with the arms. Cactus out to the side. One on the hand, one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly. We're gonna take a few nice breaths here. Softly gaze at the ceiling or close your eyes. Three more breaths. Last two. Last one. If you are in bound angle pose, bring your knees together, walk your feet apart. If you are already in this position, stay here. And we're just gonna do some windshield wipers. Right and left. Excellent. Bring your knees to your chest. Rock yourself up for a vinyasa. Yogi's choice, though. You can come to child's pose or downward facing dog. If you are in child's pose, let's meet in downward facing dog. Moving on to pigeon, bring your right knee forward and extend your left leg back. So in our pigeon pose, if you have the mobility, you can move your foot to your right, I'm sorry, move your right foot to your left wrist. If that's not available for you today, you can just move your right foot right underneath you. We'll hold pigeon for a couple more breaths. Option to stay up or bring your head to the floor. Three more breaths. 
two and one. If you are on the floor, walk yourself back up. Prop your uh, left foot up onto your toes. Come back to downward facing dog. Left foot forward, left pigeon. And make any adjustments you need for the right leg. So just like I said on the other side, you can kind of walk your left foot forward to your right wrist, or it can come right underneath you. Stay here for a couple of breaths. If you find this feels good, you can stay here or come all the way down. Continue to take deep breaths here. Check in with what your shoulders are doing. If you feel like they're really close to your ears, relax them down. A couple more breaths. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Bring yourself up. Walk your hands back. And release back into your downward facing dog. Rise to the balls of your feet. Bend your knees. And find your seat again. And let's come all the way down to the floor. We're going to work on three bridges. If you have will in your practice, you may do the wheel in place of the bridge. Or I advise you to do maybe one bridge and then we can work our way up to the wheel. Walk your feet as close to the glutes as you can. Ground through the feet. Take a deep breath in. On your exhale, raise your hips up towards the ceiling for a bridge pose. You can walk your shoulders in. Grab your hands together, bind them, and hold here. Keep looking at the ceiling. Two more breaths. Last one. If your hands are together, release the bind. Place your hands on the floor, walk your shoulders back out. Slowly lower your hips to the floor. Okay, if you're going for the wheel, you may do so now by placing your hands beside your ears as you press up into wheel. If you're going to stick with me, we're going for another bridge pose. Inhale, exhale, bridge. Again, walking your shoulders together, binding the hands. Keep pressing your hips towards the ceiling. Keep looking up at the ceiling. Staying really active through the back body. Stay grounded through the floor. more breaths. And release the hands. Walk the shoulders back out. Slowly lower the hips onto the floor. If you're in wheel, release back down by tucking your chin and lowering to the floor. Last one. Here we go. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, wheel or bridge. Press your feet into the floor. If you're in bridge, walk your shoulders together, bind the hands. If you're in wheel, really press through those hands, press through the feet. Everyone should be aiming their hips towards the ceiling. Two more breaths. Last one. Inhale. Exhale if you're in wheel. Tuck your chin and lower down. If you're in bridge, release the bind and slowly lower the hips to the floor. Excellent. Walk your feet out just a tad. We're gonna do some easy peasy wipers, right and left. All right, let's meet back into the center. Bring your right foot up, followed by the left foot. Press your hands into your thighs here. So your hips or your knees are 
trying to drive towards your face, your hands are driving towards your knees. Oppositional force. Press, 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 release. One more, press, press, press. Activating the core here. Release, good. And straighten your legs right and left. Good, slowly bring your knees to your chest. Maybe moving right and left. Maybe forward and back. Excellent, bring your knees, sorry, bring your feet to the floor. Let them drop to the right side. And let's take our gaze to the left. Spinal twist. Bring your knees back to center, gaze back to center. Let your, allow your knees to drop to, allow your knees to come to the left side. Gaze to the right. Of course, you always have the option to close your eyes here or keep them open. Bring your knees back to center as your gaze comes towards the ceiling. Straighten your legs. Cactus your arms if you'd like, or allow them to fall out to the side. Again with the gaze, it's your option. You can gaze softly at the ceiling, or you may close your eyes for Shavasana. Allow the body to fully relax here. The feet are out to the side. Relax the space between your brows. Relax the jaw. If you feel you are holding any tension, Send some loving, gentle breaths to that area. Give yourself permission to fully relax, to fully just to be here. If you 
you find your mind wandering, bring your focus back to your breath. Bring your awareness back into your body. Invite gentle movement into your fingers and toes. Take your time, but we will meet in fetal position on your right or left side. Let's stay here for a couple of breaths. Use your top hand to push yourself up into a seat, easy seat, Sukhasana. Bring your hands to your heart center. Gaze gently ahead or close your eyes. Thank you for practicing with me, my very first Rocket One practice session. The teacher in me honors the teacher in you. Namaste.